Crack is whack. Don't do that. All right, gang, so today I'm gonna to fix the last of the cracks on Project Jotmon. So I've already fixed the floor, got it all primed up. The last piece is right here at the bottom of the base door. So this is the front driver's side door. This is your window. And right here at the bottom, I've got two cracks. Let me show you. All right, so here are the two cracks that I've got. So at the bottom of the base here, you can see I've already got the holes drilled out. This is similar to what I just did on the floor just putting a eighth inch hole really at the base of the cracks or the end of the cracks, keep them from perpetuating on and that. So I need to take apart this door and I'll show you why when I get it apart. Okay, so now this is the third time I've taken this stuff apart. So you'd think I'd know it by now and I'll recite it to you. Two nuts on the mirror and it's gotta go. And then I'm gonna take off this bottom piece here, the dew wipe. And then this run channel here on the dew wipe, take off the trim, trim, take the rubber channel out so I can get to the back of this and it's going to be hot when I weld. So I don't want to melt anything. Otherwise, time to get some welding done. All right, so with everything taken off, here comes the exciting part. I really can't get to the back side of this easily like I could the floor when I welded it. So you get, when you MIG weld in that, you can put the copper spoon on the back side, give you some back pressure. That way you don't blow through the metal. It gives you a little bit easier time of welding. On this one, I really can't do that. And I don't get to cover a carpet. It's kind of seen. So I don't want to make this, I guess I want to fix it, but I don't want to make it just look terrible. And MIG welding sometimes looks terrible. So I'm just going to take this as a small piece at a time. I'm just going to nibble at it, kind of just spot by spot by spot. I don't want to fill it with a lot of weld and make it look crappy because it is kind of a show car and I want it to look nice. So I'm just going to do this piece at a time, nibble, nibble, nibble all the way. And hopefully at the end I can just clean it off with a little bit of grind and hit it with some probably some primer and that just so it doesn't rust and I can repaint it later when I paint the car. Walder's running. You can see the blue tint there. Now that is just painter's tape covering up the vinyl because I don't want it to catch a spark by accident. And now it's time to play my favorite game. What does that smell? Is something burning? So here we go. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history, yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy when we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history, yeah. All right, so there's the finished product of the welding. So you can see I've still got a little bit of an issue here I need to work on. This will be a future project. Got a uh, little spot there, not bad. This is where this cracks was coming through here. I'll show you kind of around in here. So I've already sprayed it with some etching primer. This is still wet, that's why it's glossy. And then you can see kind of down in this radius, I've got a little, still a little bit of clump of welding I can take off there, but this will, uh, Definitely add some support and get me through until I come back to do body work later on. But definitely add support to my window channel. There we go. There's some focus to the window channel there. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to take this paint tape off and uh, clean up. So you can see this right through here has got a lot of debris and all that stuff. And this big lump was already there. So don't worry about that. But that tape needs to come off and then uh, reassemble everything. So I'll show you the finished product when it's all covered up and done. All right, so there's the finish. Now, obviously you can see, like I said, there's a little booger there. I think that'll be okay once you show it. This crack, I obviously didn't do enough on, and I think once you put the door panel on, it's gonna come across and actually hide this little divot booger here, so. Ah, uh, is it better? Yeah. Is it done the way I want? No. But, yeah. Time to move on. On to the next project. All right, so that is 
kind of the finished product on that one. So I still got a little bit more work to do and that's nah, okay. This thing is going to be an evolution to get it to where I want. So here's what's coming up. And I think this will be a good teaser for you guys to stick around. So I've got some parts probably coming from Team Z. I'm going to put a set of their uh, through floor subframe connectors in. Now granted, I already put the Maximum Motorsports ones on, but these ones will actually tie into the floor structure itself versus just the channel underneath. Definitely gonna make the car a lot stiffer, and I think it'll be better for what I wanna do long-term on it. Let's see, second thing, I've got some caster camera plates from Team Z coming, so I'll do a uh, install video on those later on. And then I've got the uh, radiator support coming in, so that will be three things from them so far that I've got on the way. Should be here soon, and uh, I'll put up on Instagram when I get it. Probably be at least a couple weeks from now, but by the time you see the video, I'll probably have them on the car done, obviously, by the time it's released. And then, the big fun one. So you know I was going to go five lug this winter. I've already mentioned that previously. And my racing has a big, uh, they're having a big sale on their uh, fender kits. And if you've seen my Instagram, you knew I was already talking about doing wide body. So guess what? Joke mine's going wide body. So I'm going to get a set of their three inch fenders and that'll be, that'll be a pretty significant progress and uh, a journey that I don't know that I have the skills for, but how you get them is you got to go through it. So obviously the fronts will bolt on the rears. I'm going to have to make really some big changes to the car, cut, cutting my metal that once you start going there, once you go wide, you don't go back. Not easily, at least. So that'll be something coming up on the channel. I've got some other things in the works, and I hope to drive this thing this year. And then I've got to get some big, fat tires and wheels to go with it. So that's it for this time. Uh, I think that's all the good stuff for today and some of the stuff coming up this year. So we will see you next time.